In the recent past, NGOs have clashed with the government on matters of policy and law, which has resulted in the suspension of some. A recent example is the Mount Trillion Shillings Funding Facility, the Democratic Governance Facility, which had a serious impact on the economy. There are 24 trainees must be able to understand the policy, the legal frameworks within their ecosystem. Okay? They have to understand that, make sure that whatever they do is leg legally protect, you are legally protected and something like that. I remember at a time when we came out and we told the Minister of Finance when they wanted to introduce VAT on, uh, on agricultural imports. He came and he told them that, no, you should not, oh, EPRC, you came with EPRC, okay? How could you do that? But the good thing, our, our evidence led to a change. The law aside, funding priorities have also changed, and those in the NGO space need to take note. As we all know, the world is changing rapidly. There's so much that's happening crises that are erupting on a daily basis, technological advances that are happening on a, you know, on a moment's notice. As leaders, we want to make sure that we are equipping people with the skills that they need, the tools that they need to ensure that they can be as effective as they can be as leaders, leading their teams and helping to build their communities. And also we have seen also emphasis on emerging issues like climate change, artificial intelligence, innovations, and so forth against traditional development assistance. We have also seen democratic assistance on the increase, but we have also seen that it is not a new, it's not an easy space to navigate, especially when it touches on questions of human rights and accountability. It has, it's a fragile space that needs sophisticated skills to manage. The Empower Uganda program will equip NGO leaders with the necessary skills to keep pace with the changing policy environment. Rachel Nabisubi, NTV Business.